We're back to give you the legal edge. You've seen school zone signs while driving, but what do they mean in a legal sense? Local attorney Brian Waldman from the Sign and Stramus Law Firm here for you now to break down the laws around driving through school zones. Most people understand they need to drive slower in school zones when school's in session. But what the law actually says is that the, the speed limit can be reduced in what are known as school zones or school property, property adjacent to school property, up to 1,000 feet away from the school's property line. The law allows for that school speed limit to take effect up to 30 minutes before school begins and continue until classes begin for the day. And then when classes end or the end of the school day for an additional 30 minute period or up to an additional 30 minute period. At schools where there's an off-campus lunch option or component, there can also be a time in the middle of the day where that school zone speed limit applies. Now, what motorists need to know is that that school zone speed limit also allows for fines to be doubled. When the legislature changed the law with regard to construction zones or school buses, they also said that any moving violation, including speeding in a school zone, can result in a fine being doubled. So if you take speeding, uh, say six to 10 miles per hour over the speed limit is typically around about $130 fine. Well, if it's in a school zone, that'll be doubled. It'll be a $260 fine.